everyone, I'm using the Lightseer's Tarot for our reading today. I'll choose some cards from the Lightseer's Tarot and I'll also choose one from the Mystical Healing as well for some extra guidance. So I'm setting the intention for a reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who views this video still feeling the effects of this powerful super full moon from yesterday may feel some the nine of swords jumping out may be feeling some tiredness fatigue however whatever you're feeling allow it to arise within take some time out the world won't stop if we take a break and have a rest to give ourselves permission to go within to do our self-healing and as always take what resonates from this reading and just put the rest to one side so there we have the eight of swords the seven of swords and the five of cups wow this is really heavy energy that's coming up then we have the three of cups the death card the empress okay so the nine of swords so these cards here the nine of swords the seven of swords and the five of cups things coming to the surface so we have just come through this full moon in Aquarius ruled by Uranus and Uranus is the higher octave the higher consciousness asking us to stand in our uniqueness Uranus comes like a a bolt of lightning to bring those visions those insights to us so we're being asked where are we robbing ourselves of joy where are we giving our power to others by maybe feeling some self-worth we've got the five of cups the seven of swords the nine of of swords so these are uh, these are cards that ask us to listen to our thoughts mercury there retrograde in, in leo a lot of leo energy asking us to go even deeper within to listen to those intuitive prompts that we have chiron is retrograding in Aries also asking us to look at maybe areas of our lives where we are feeling anxious where we are feeling that we have no way out the seven of swords where are we placing our attention that is bringing us some unhappiness that's taking our life force energy so with these cards these cards are looking deeply into our shadow and asking us to look around in our outside world at any areas where we where we do feel that we are being contracted where we can't stand and be our unique self because uranus is pushing us and pushing us into this into this light and standing in that spotlight for all to see so if there's any area where we feel anxious about stepping in to our true self and this is what this energy is all around 
So the moon has moved into Pisces today. Pisces is the fish. It's, it swims the ocean. It's that ocean of consciousness and it's the last sign of the zodiac. So it's asking us to and Saturn is retrograding through Pisces with Neptune. So we're being asked to where are we still in our lives placing attention onto what we don't want something going on in our life whether it is a challenge and we are focusing out and focusing on it and putting all our energy there to the point where all our energy is going down into a an empty void and we are feeling fatigued so this is a powerful opportunity for healing to take ourselves up to look at everything from a bird's eye view sit on a on a perch looking into our lives from a bird's eye view so that we get the bigger picture listening to the insights that come up as we look into areas of our lives that cause us to feel stressed that causes that brings up anxiety allow the anxiety to come allow the stress to arise and listen to the messages that are coming through because as we sit in this energy allow it to rise we then start to allow that shadow part of us to pass away because the energy that is in our shadow is from our past it's not here we are projecting our past into our present and then into our future so we've been asked to come back and go deeper within really listening to to the uncomfortable uneasiness to the parts of us that are impatient to the parts of us that are not happy because we're awakening and awakening can be really raw it's about looking at those parts of ourselves and being honest where we may not like ourselves where we may not like our life and and allowing that to surface because as it surfaces as, as it's brought to the as it's brought out into the open it falls away it loses its it loses its strength it loses its power over us because these unresolved subconscious patterns that are running and playing out within our psyche go out and we will react in a certain way we'll say things that maybe if we didn't have those patterns running within our psyche we wouldn't say we would be cle a clearer vessel so the, there is a death to all this coming through so uh, any evidence that you may be feeling knowing that it's coming up because it's being transmuted it's being transformed pluto is there retrograding in aquarius also so there's a lot of energy there pluto is helping us to go into the murkiness of our shadows of our deepest shadows and bring it up to the surface and as we bring it up to the surface it it dissolves in light and we are we then hold the treasures of the trauma 
that we bring into the surface. So things going that are not relevant for our future, they are not no longer serving our highest good that we have learned from, then we are not needing to keep going through those karmic cycles. And with this comes celebration, a celebration of freedom. And this is what this energy and all this energy this week, it's showing us our individuality so that we can be free. We don't need to copy anyone. We don't, we don't need to be like anyone else. We are individual. And this energy of Uranus and Chiron and all the celestial bodies are showing us, look at who you are. Don't stay in the dark and hide yourself. There's nothing for you to hide from. This is about coming out, taking a breath, listening to that deeper, true, truer self. Our mind is going to be active because Mercury is in retrograde. So again, mulling over the chaff, mulling over the weeds, those, those thoughts that strangle the life out of our new ideas. New idea drops in, then we start to overanalyze things, we start to overthink it based on old emotions, maybe in past, being let down in the past, robbing us of our light, robbing us of our passion and life force energy, and seeing everything going down into that empty void. But there is, she's old of a pot of jewels there, crystals. So go in and picking our crystals, go in and choosing a crystal to sit with and hold and allow that crystal to draw out intrusions from within our energy fields from within our body, allowing it to be transmuted because there is celebration here. And this is, this is the Empress and you can see there, she is about to give birth to a new reality. And those final stages of giving birth, <laughs> it's, it's painful. So this is about looking at the rawness of who we are, looking into that rawness, looking into that shadow, allowing light to shine on that shadow. We things about things we don't like about ourselves may come to the surface. And we can go into a beating of ourselves up. We can start beating ourselves up and go into guilt or we can acknowledge it and change and sometimes that's really difficult because we're so used and we're we are stuck in these patterns these pathways within our minds that are so calcified that we have the same thoughts we we used that we're in the same habits we do the same thing day after day when there's a big wide world there and as we start to change the way we do things, even changes something we do in a day, will change, change our reality. So this is the final stages. This is the birthing pangs, so those final labour pains. As we're giving birth, we're turning ourselves inside out to come into the light, to be able to stand there in our uniqueness, speaking from our hearts without any fear, without projecting any fear into our life and into our future. So this is a time of rebirth but celebration. So whatever may have come up through this 
full moon you could have gone through some ancestral healing things coming up with the joining the dots that go all the way back looking at where maybe a a personality trait a fear we can see it within us we can see it from our mothers or our fathers and going back and knowing that's an ancestral energy within us that is here to be transmuted for us not to carry it any further so even though what may have come up and may still be coming up it's good because the light that we've taken in is pushing it to the surface a bit like a splinter when we have a splinter in our finger then our body starts to push it out any foreign body starts to push it out of our our, our bodies it, it starts to push it to the surface and then it's a, easy enough to to extract and this is how i feel this energy we are being all the intrusions the false beliefs the conditioning the hypnosis of the false matrix all coming to the surface for us to pluck out pluck out so that we can see with clarity we can stand in our own light without feeling that we we have to take in light from the outside it's coming from within and we've got the full moon there with the empress and the empress is all about fertility is all about our finances is about beauty it's in everything in our earthly realm she's the queen in all her virtues she's the divine mother she's the nurturer and i just feel this card is asking us to to treat ourselves and heal ourselves this way as we may be going through some deaths of the ego which um, can feel raw it, 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 it can be difficult and challenging but we know now if anything comes up that is not what we want to experience in our lives whatever is going on in the internal is what we are going to manifest and bring into our reality and if we have the shadow coming up and then the self-righteous part of us starts to judge ourselves because of the shadow we go into a battle of light and shadow within us so our light and our shadow battle but in truth the light will never battle it will only love so once we take that in and let it settle let it come into our being know that love will always prevail divine light will prevail to allow everything else to just fall away so I'm asking, I've got a message from the mystical healing, some clarity, some guidance for us all as we are going through these times of, of purging for, for a lot of us. There we have the develop stronger concentration. Mm. So yeah. Don't get sucked in to anything in our external world coming in. When we go in confu into confusion, when we feel unsafe, we go into fight or flight or freeze. So we're being asked to sit still, to really go deeper within, to listen to those insights, to listen to those intuitive prompts the divine prompts that we're receiving within to use our concentration on that 
and not to project from it. So if we're feeling something uncomfortable, we can easily project off, bounce off it, or maybe there's some numbness there to really sink deeper using our energy to go within to get to the to the roots and allow anything that is out of alignment with our original blueprint with who we are, truly are to come to the surface to see it in all its glory to witness it and to set it free and the base of the pack <laughs> is love your body so whatever whatever may be coming up whatever it may be coming up for you during this time of the full moon and the, the days that follow and, and, and going through this week because there's, there are energy shifts occurring. So whatever may be coming to the surface, it's not that we dwell, it's not that we stay in that place of sadness and of being a martyr or what a, a victim we're not it's bringing it up and, and seeing it and letting it move through us because that is not the truth of who we are we are infinite we are powerful we are co-creating a new reality and in our new reality there is none of these this not this does not reside but it's coming to a completion it's a number nine the nothing is taken because we know if anything's taken then we that's karmic we don't dwell and get upset over things we realize that we are each year walking this path healing our karmic debt healing these karmic relationships and cycles that we've come here to experience and to look after our bodies fill our bodies with love and to keep our concentration on our path ahead not everywhere around in fact taking it deeper within our own being because as we work on the internal the external falls into place really easily so i'm sending so much love have a wonderful day taking taking things easy allowing things to come allowing whatever fears come into the surface and we are carrying these from our ancestors and we're here and we've chosen to come and heal them for our ancestors for ourselves and for our future generations so have a wonderful day and thank you thank you for listening god bless